I'll show you how to create a mobile app in Salesforce. You in the uh, setup and quick find box, you type apps and then you go to mobile apps here. This is a branding. First, you do you have to do branding, Salesforce branding, customize the appearance of the mobile app so it matches your company's branding to change the branding of your login place. See the authentication configuration section of the my, my, my domain page. So I'm in the my domain, you have to come up with the URL and then um, configure the, author, uh, the authentication. Uh, here, create a my domain and routing information if needed and policies. First, that is the first step you have to do. Um, so let's click uh, edit, edit button here. So Salesforce branding settings. Set the background color for the key user interface element, including the header. I'm going to select anything here. L Loading page, set the background color of the loading page. It doesn't matter, just for, for demo. This is a page logo, ha, upload the image to use the logo of the boarding loading page. I'm not going to update for now, I save it here. The second step is the Salesforce navigation. Mobile navigation, add, you can add lighting pages, visual force page and lighting component and other productivity item to the default navigation menu in the Salesforce mobile app. Where these items appear in the Salesforce mobile app for iOS, the Salesforce mobile app for Android, these items appear default navigation menu called the mobile only app. The first four items you appear as the first four item in the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen when the user is in lightning app. Um, the navigation taps from the desktop version of the lightning app sync to the remote navigation menu. Users can switch back to the mobile only navigation when you're using the mobile uh, launcher. Who can add? You can add lining pages, visual force pages, lighting component, and other productive item to the add item to the navigation menu. Create a tab for the first, and then you add your uh, lighting web components and visual force pages, anything you want to display to the tab. That how we, and then you add the tab here um, I'm going to remove that. This is out of the box uh, uh, items here. Let's remove everything here. I want to add like a uh, task here for now. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. These are the available tabs here. Yeah. Click save here. Um, yeah, uh, let's see, uh, the third one is a notification. You have to enable, uh, enable app, in-app notification and enable push notifications. Salesforce offline. Uh, you can enable, uh, Salesforce, uh, enable caching in Salesforce Android and iOS. Also, you can enable Offline create, edit, and delete in Salesforce or Android iOS. Go to Salesforce settings, app, ac app access settings. To use Salesforce, install the Salesforce mobile app from the App Store or Google Play. You can control your org access to Salesforce Android and OS. Download app setting. You can click let users see onboarding tips and then second let users send feedback to a Salesforce from mobile app. You can check both. The uh, next one is a device access settings. Allow Salesforce to import contact from mobile app contact lists. 
So these are the configurations for your mobile app. Um, yeah, so this page is from Salesforce. Information on create and publish custom brand and mobile apps. Uh, it has a demo there, you can see it. Uh, so this is an example of a mobile app you see on iOS. You can build your own custom brand and mobile app with mobile publisher. 